Y'all, Clarence NYC decided to make a video about Queen Naja's ex, Chris Sales, on how to get over his ex, Queen Naja. Y'all, come with me so I can spill this tea. Welcome back, subbies. It's your girl, Marie, the one with the thoughts and the pains and spilling all the tea. It's where you need to be. So, y'all, Clarence NYC dropped a video on how to get over an ex. I know you like, he's in a relationship. Where would this come from? You know, is he trying to be shady? Y'all, before I even get into this tea, I got to tell the story. So, let's go back and see how this all came about. the cutest couple you know they were considered goals and i'm not even gonna care i was i was rocking like i was with it super adorable loved it loved their hustle like they were just so cute but then a lot of stuff came out about him cheating and you know they started collabing with other youtubers hence this they did this whole sit down about the relationship Thing. Is this fake? Are you guys doing it for the viewers, the subscribers? Yeah. Is it real or fake? Everything. All right. Okay. Um, with that being said, confirm. Um, what did it confirm and what made you believe it? Were you already speculating that he was cheating already? Yeah, I mean, yes, I did. Well, I had suspicions, basically, because of previous previous screenshots and um, receipts and stuff mm. like that. But I never really addressed it, um, mm. at least not to everyone else but him. Child, always had issues, you know, a lot of stuff came to the forefront. Everybody started bashing the queen and getting on queen about why she's still with him. You know, she's stupid, she shouldn't be doing this. She deserves better, whatever the case may be. Um, after all of that, Queen then kind of distanced herself. This is where we started seeing Queen making her new YouTube page. You know, I dropped a song two days ago called Medicine. If y'all haven't heard it, make sure you guys go listen to it. Why you be out here playing a victim? Why this shit up? I can't take it. Not for you, but for him. We find out that she does leave Chris. Check this out. Me just simply coming to y'all and just talking to y'all as if we were in the same room. I just really want to clear up a lot of things and the reason why I actually did leave. I left the house and I did leave Chris. Um, we are legally married and we're working on documents and all that stuff to officially, you know, separate. And I just don't want y'all to go bashing Chris. Just because me and him had issues don't mean that he's not a good person. And she's doing her own little thing. She took a girl's trip with Ari to New York. What happens in NYC stays in NYC, baby. If it wasn't no Snapchat, then it wasn't meant to be. Hey. Had a good time. Then we met best friend Claire Bear. And they were this they were just best friends, you know. What y'all see is not what it is. Y'all was just best friends. Oh, we done. This game kind of fun. What is that? I, I poke some. Let me feel it. <laughs> That's the cheek. That's the ass. Let's get it. After that, you know, we noticed that she was more and more over there with Claire. And a baby pop out. Five, four, three, two, one. Mm. 
Yeah, no boy. <laughs> oh my god, it's a boy. Clear. <laughs> was like oh yeah we've been in a relationship but we wanted to make sure this was really what we wanted to do and did this and did that cool so the baby happens and now they're the royal family ain't nothing fake about this love they get to pay what they judge in the midst of all of this queen is taking off queen is going crazy like medicine went viral that trey wrote you know shout out to you trey Cause don't seem like nobody giving you your props, but I'm gonna leave that where that's at. Y'all, this is the studio I recorded medicine in, and it brings back so many memories to be here. This is where it all started, y'all. And it started with this guy right here. Yeah. Yeah, it started right they here. With my brother, you know, what I'm saying? Right we came on you know, it's it's just crazy, like crazy. Um, and then we get to. You know, Clarence and Chris with this back and forth, back and forth with Mar the God and all of them just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And hence where we're, where we're at now. Chris decided to upload old videos of Queen. We already know Chris is like the troll of all trolls when it comes to Queen. But that's where his money is. Like, come on now. If you know how to get your bag, but you not going to do it because it's going to make somebody else mad. No, bro, I'm going to go get my bag. So, Chris is doing what Chris do. He's using Queen's name. Clarence, I guess, is offended. Fucking cares. But he's offended and had the nerve to be petty and shady and do this. So, let's get into that tea. Clarence and Chris Sales is back being shady to each other again. Recently, Clarence collabed with Mod the God in a video called How to Get Over Your Ex. And throughout the video, I felt like they were making a manual for Chris Sales to follow while being shady. Because you know, some would say Chris Sales is still not over his ex-wife queen. But here are some tips from Clarence and Mod the God. So things not to do after a breakup. Well, I feel like you definitely shouldn't make like a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> if you're making music, you feel me? And you really like a rapper. Don't make music. Stay up that. to date. <laughs> you feel me? Stay up to date. You shouldn't be, you know, have a new song about the ex. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about Ashley for the burger joint last week. Like, not three years ago on a new song. And this, you know. Now, the link to this video is hopping up, but Chris Sales did clap back. He said, Niggas want to make videos and shit. Now I got to be petty and make a video on how to do nothing all day. And how your girl do everything. Y'all, let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. We already know why Chris is re-uploading videos of Queen. It's probably for the money. But I honestly don't think that he wants Queen back. Now I'm going to give it to Chris. He is the ultimate troll of all trolls. Like... Reacting to Queen Naja doing this, doing this with Queen Naja, seeing Queen Naja do this. Like, bro, when Queen was blowing up, it was iconic. Like, the way Chris was on it, he was on it. But I just feel like it was a little messy for Clarence to clap back the way he clapped back. I mean, bro, bro, bro. That was messy. Real bitch-like tendencies. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like Clarence be doing too much and he be trying to be seen. Y'all, I just want to know how y'all feel about all of this because I do feel like it was shady. The video was shady. The video. No, y'all. The video wasn't shady. The video was for Chris. Like, let's just keep it real. How to get over your ex. From the nigga that's with your ex watching you relive the days y'all had when y'all was together. So, it's just like, y'all, let it go. Y'all happy? Queen's doing good. I mean, she ain't making no music, but she doing good. She, Queen doing whatever she doing. And y'all are happy. So, be happy. Like, be happy. Be happy. Be happy. That's all I'm saying. Like. Go be happy. Why is you even stunting it? All right, 
you guys. I just feel like it's all messy, petty, and just too much for these grown men to be doing this back and forth. Like, it's too much. Y'all are grown. Just leave it alone. Let it go. Go be you. All I got to say about it. Of course, you guys, I will keep y'all updated because y'all know Chris is about to drop a video. I'm just waiting for it. I will do a part two to this and I will keep you updated. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. I love you, Sammy, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.